course, all the great volunteers and, and you for your support. Um, some of the songs I write are uh, tributes, uh, and this one is just that. This is called uh, The Ballad of John Green, and uh, I did this in New York. How many people here know who John Green is? Right here. Yeah. Right. yeah. It's a lot better hands there. <laughs> so anyway, I wrote this uh, for John about 10 years ago and got to play it to him in his living room. And, and yeah, John's a, just an epic author and researcher. Well, back in the fall of 58, Harrison Hot Springs was hot with debate. The well, Sasquatch you see was back on the scene and caught the attention of John Green. The more he heard, well, the more it rang true. The story investigated and his interest grew. The evidence was compelling up on Ruby Creek. He knew something was out there he was determined to see. Well, now he came to California when he saw Jerry Crew holding that foot cast and then he just knew that finding this creature was becoming his mission. Got Tom Slick to fund a Bigfoot expedition. Yeah, he was out thinking Sasquatch wasn't seeking no glory. He was the one documenting the story. And who was always one of the first on the scene? The Sasquatch had been there. So did John Green. So did John Green. Throughout the 60s, he stayed on the track. Collecting the reports and sorting the facts. His database of sightings and his evidence increased. They could never catch a glimpse of this beast. But he was there. Seen that film, this film from Bluff Creek. He'd been down there that summer, he found tracks on Onion Peak. It seemed the answer to this riddle was so close yet so fleeting. Like the creature itself, but John was never retreating. Now he was out thinking Sasquatch wasn't seeking no glory. He was the one documenting the story. And who was always one of the first on the scene. If a Sasquatch had been there, so had John Green. Yeah, so had John Green. Published some books. Now he published some books to disperse what he learned. Reputation for thoroughness and logic he'd earned. He wanted science to address this mystery, but much to his dismay, this was never to be. Sort of. Yeah. Well, to this day, he's still looking and he's offering advice. His passion to resolve this has become his vice. Well, now he has no regrets, he liked only to be. To be there when they finally solve this mystery. Yeah, he was out thinking Sasquatch wasn't seeking no glory. Well, investigating and documenting the story. And who was always one of the first on the scene? The Sasquatch had been there. So had John Green. So had John Green. So had John Green. So